what's popping youtube it's your boy who's man's and you already know what time it is go ahead hit that subscribe button and the bell so you never miss an upload and we about to get into it man we got week two of this on, on this franchise with the steelers and we going against the uh the broncos the broncos are a very sneaky team uh they got no fan they got jerry judy they have two really good running backs in Philip Lindsay and uh, Melvin Gordon. Their defense is also very sneaky. Uh, this is a very sneaky team. We seen what happened, you know, uh, in actual week two with the Steelers and the Broncos. Broncos, <laughs> their offense doesn't look too great, mainly because their offensive line is looking horrible. Um, but as far as their receiving core, man, um, Jerry Judy and Sutton, man, they looking like they're going to be pretty good. They have two, like I said, two good running backs. If they have a line, it's going to be a deadly team in the future. Um, obviously, Drew Locke's hurt, so it's not much you can really do about that one. And especially how they looked against... Uh, um, the Buccaneers and Tom Brady. I mean, I don't know, man. I feel like, I feel like, you know, let the Broncos defense mature a little bit. Let their offense mature. And this is going to be a decent team. You know, Von Miller is getting up there. And wow, how do you talk? This throw the sack stuff be killing me sometimes. Even when it's, it goes in my favor. Sometimes it's like the computer just did that on purpose. But um, as you see right there, we played very disciplined. We kept Melvin Gordon um, in front of us. And right there, yo, you got to pick that one off. Anyway, we go down three. No, we don't go down three because if y'all didn't notice, one of my guys was getting blocked and he is on the outside and I couldn't get um get like the blocking in this game sometimes doesn't make sense where like even when I'm up, when I'm on offense there'll be somebody getting blocked and I run on the side of the defender and they can't disengage and and it's just like if that's the case that's holding so I don't know man anyway we give up that touchdown it sucks but like I was saying before the Broncos defense is very young. They have two really good safeties as I dot that one down the middle to Ebron. They have two really good safeties. They obviously have Chubb and um, Von Miller, two good edge rushers. They just got to work on that, on their, um, I feel like they got to work on their DBs, man. As long as they can keep, you know, the linebacking core nice, um, you know, they have a good safety duo who can play in the box and they can play in coverage. <laughs> They'll be fine. And we do a quick three and out. But great punt right here. Put a little backspin on it. Finessed it. Get them down there. And of course, sometimes the blocking on this is crazy. Sometimes it's great. But anyway, we get an inaccurate um, quick throw right here. We need to lock up. Can we? And we do. First and 10 for us. And we get it over the middle to Juju. Trying to get him incorporated. Right there. Uh, that was just good defense. I, I tried to anticipate the throw and it just didn't work. Von Miller doing Von Miller things. And it's third down to 10. It's, our offense is struggling. And... Uh, <laughs> Deontay Johnson drops the ball, you know, in real life, he's been scaring me as we get the first down there, which was key, but Deontay Johnson has been like, I mean, I love it, but he also scares me because I don't, he may, he needs to work on his ball handling. Um, <laughs> that's something that happened in the game, except for Juju was the one that caught it too, but um, Deontay and wow, I've tried to force that one. But Deontay needs to work on his ball security, man. He just be fumbling just in the wrong time. 
right there. Once again, could have got picked off. Third and ten. What can we do? And Von Miller doing Von Miller things, man. So we got to settle for the field goal. This 7-3. Our offense is looking horrible. And right now they're moving the ball. Well, they haven't moved balls because they got that pick. Almost six. And right here we stopped a run. Something that the Steelers have been doing really well um, this year is stopping a run so far. Which should come in handy playing against the Titans. Although Tannehill is definitely showing out this year. And um, we, we, you know, we forced a quick three and out. Deontay Johnson, you know, picking up a few yards. This is just better than nothing. We need him to definitely take over in this, uh, you know, return game. We got Big Ben rolling out. Nobody's open. Their defense is playing really good. Um, now, the only thing that sucks is in real life, both their corners are hurt and they're playing rookies. In this, you know. They got Kareem Jackson in. Oh man. If he could have if I could have just led that one up the field a little bit more, that'd have been nice. But it was rough in the passer at least. Which is gonna make it first down and ten for us. Keeps the drive moving. Von Miller once again doing Von Miller things. He is coming up. And that sucks for them too, because Von Miller is not playing. Once again, Von Miller just getting back there. Just just causing ruckus, and you can't be mad because it's Von Miller. Right here, we angle it up the field. Juju catches it on the sideline for the first down at near the end of the second quarter. And uh, pass it over the middle to Deontay Johnson, who is definitely proving that he can be something great as we get the touchdown there. He's proving that he can be something great. He just needs to work on that ball security, and I think he'll be good. And our wide receiving quarter core is going to be tough. Now, with Chase Claypool doing what he's doing, I think if he improves, this is going to make it tough as we get the interception right there with Vince Williams. He's normally not great in coverage. So we get a quick 10 points right there at the end of the, at the, end of the half. But uh, Vince Williams not really a coverage guy. He's more of a run-stopping guy. And James Conner, another person who is definitely showing out right now. He, he had a 100-yard game on the ground. First was Benny Snell, then we had Connor. Hopefully Connor can keep it going. Sorry y'all, I'm eating. Um, it's kind of late, I've been at work all day to make up for my little vacation, because y'all y'all sure know I haven't uploaded in, what, six days I think? But uh, I just need a little vacation. It was my anniversary with my wife, uh, one year. <clears throat> so, took a week to do that. But yeah, we back. But anyway, third and three, make a little pass to the outside, get the first down, boom, first down and 10, hand the ball off, pick up a few yards, he's fighting. Second down and eight. <clears throat> As you see, the Rams just blew out the Eagles in this, and this is pretty accurate. Um, Hand the ball off. Nice little cut back inside. Third down and four. We pick up the first down to uh, Washington there. And then we run the ball. And man, had I gotten that block there, that could have been a touchdown. But it's not. We pitch the ball to uh, Mr. Benny Snell Jr. and pick up the touchdown. And he's been looking impressive too. But once again, he needs to work on his little ball control there because he's been fumbling. But um, we start off back on uh, defense here. We got to make a stop just for, you know, fourth quarter. We don't want them coming back. And look at that. We got Mike Hilton picking it off. He's been playing lights out this year. And we got to see how we can keep him. I, I've i been listening to all that talk and stuff. I'm not really – I don't really understand all that, but <clears> – <throat> Between him and Bud Dupree, man, it's looking like this is going to be tough. Like, we're going to have to choose, and he's been huge. <clears throat> so, hopefully we can keep him. But anyway, we're up 27-7. to seven. Drops the pass there on first and 10. Second and 10 here. We got the trips. And uh, did a pretty good job there. Melvin Gordon don't, didn't pick up too much. 
third and seven what are they gonna do and on uh, the computer switch me on to the wrong person and they uh, go ahead and score off that one but <clears throat> long as we uh, either score or drain a lot of this clock off we should have this game in hand and we we're gonna go ahead and just show the highlights um, James Conner picks up a huge game there and runs the defender over for the first down <clears throat> Then we're going to go ahead and skip the second and six. And boom, we get the corner out. Looks like they're playing like a cover two. We hit them into the deep part. <clears throat> they are playing underneath coverage. And we went over top to Washington. And right here, we throw a touchdown to Juju. <clears throat> who hasn't been, he hasn't been picking up a lot of yards. But he's been very clutch. And that stiff arm <clears throat> was crazy against the Broncos. They get another late touchdown here <clears throat> 21 to 33 and just messing around ended up throwing a touchdown to chase claypool <clears throat> he's been also looking great like a great pickup for the steelers deep in the future once again that's another person that we got to see about but that's gonna do it i'm gonna catch y'all next week peace